Hello from the Dukter One team. Today I will show you the panels for the homeopathic remedy list. It's one of my favorite topics. Of course, homeopathy and the homeopathic uh, remedy list is actually for more advanced users. Um, but it goes great and homeopathy goes great with using Eductor One um, because homeopathy deals with the vital force and the healing power or energy that exists within us. So working with Eductor One device and working also with homeopathy, uh, you get a combination of therapy that actually takes the client to another level. So let me show you. You go from program to feedback homeopathic activation. Now I will show you the basics because this is actually, as I said before, uh, for advanced users. So you will notice here up on the right that you can choose activate tray output, activate harness, activate virtual, activate all, etc. Now, by default, the device actually, anyhow, is activated all, okay? So, you don't really need to use this or check one of these, but if you wish um, to be more specific of activating only the harness or activating only virtual, okay, or activating uh, the tray only, uh, you can do this. By default, it's activating all. Anyhow, I'll check that as well. You will notice the patient name up here. So, um, we'd first press load homeopathic remedy list. And you would see all the remedies that the client is reacting to in order, in reaction order. You can filter them if you wish with a polycrest, let's say, uh, venoms. Bach, organs, vaccines, biochemicals, nosodes, flower essence. Uh, I like to do it with all so I can have the full view of what the client needs and reacts to. So let's see the first reaction, which is the Viscom album. Okay, now here we would see Never mind this uh, this number here. I had already used the, the uh, reaction beforehand. That's why. Um, I would want to uh, check what potency uh, the client is reacting to for this homeopath. So check potency. It gives us 6C. Uh, this is the potency. Now either as a homeopath, if you are a homeopath, a uh, specialist, you can give the person uh, some dosage of 6C Viscum album, or as a biofeedback specialist, you can duplicate it, duplicate this remedy at this potency, so that you send it to the client as a frequency. So zap and duplicate. This duplicates the specific homeopath to this potency so that we can send the exact um, amount needed to the client. I would always check the second wave generator and the ABS autofocus. Okay, so we zapped and duplicated, and then we treat that duplication of that specific homeopath at the specific potency that we wish. So we're sending this... Um, a remedy to the client in a frequency. Great. So it's rectified of over 95% and we can check this if we close the panel and we see that successful percentage, 98%. Fantastic. So we notice that when we double clicked the item down here from the list, it's also loaded up here. Now, say if we loaded uh, more items down here, 
let's see again let me show you if I loaded uh, the second homeopath another homeopath on the four lines let's say okay and I would let me show you up here that all those that I loaded down underneath are up on this line you would notice if you further go down that we've created a cocktail here on this white line now by creating the cocktail we can energize water through this of course by going through the process down here of zapping and duplicating and treating again we've energized whatever is on the tray but we can also instead of doing that we can do it much quicker if we wish by loading the items up here on this white tray we clear the carrier to clear any energetic frequencies that may be on the tray and we energize our water so that's a quick way of energizing a cocktail of a homeopath remedy and remedies we can do the same with flower essences and anything you choose so another option here that we can use with this white line which is really great we can use this white line to see if a client needs a specific supplement and how much he would need let's say I would put spirulina 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 I would put some spirulina on the eductor if we have on the eductor one uh, tray if we have available if we don't okay we take it uh, as a um, uh, a hollow linguistic uh, frequency it's also very accurate okay so let's say one per day okay and we would test reaction of remedy by testing reaction of remedy we see the percentage of what the client reacts to it's reacting 73 percent 73 percent it would do him good let's say we put two per day perhaps we get a higher percentage let us see 16 percent no so any low percentage it could be even allergic it's not doing uh, it's not doing it wouldn't do him any good so I would give one per day since we did get a 70 so percentage we can also put let's say we have um, medication the clients taking a lot of medication and we have some adverse effects we can see of what medication perhaps or even adverse effects to perhaps some kind of um, a specific brand of of a supplement we can test that up here we can put it on the tray we can put the hollow linguistics and see the reaction of the remedy seeing if they're doing good or not of course if we were dealing with um, medication chemical uh, you know a medication prescribed from a doctor and we see that it's having an adverse effect we never tell them to stop but we have to send them to their doctor okay to see and to confirm Um, what else can we do here we can also create if we notice here we see amplify pattern invert pattern we can create allosodes and inverting patterns such as uh, someone is allergic to their cat hair of their cat or dog hair we can take a piece of hair let's say and put it on the tray and we take uh, we amplify the pattern or we, we invert the pattern okay that's for more advanced users or let's say someone is uh, you know eating a lot of sugar or you know having allergic reactions to their smoking so they quit smoking uh, we can use this amplify and invert patterns as well um,
we can notice here the start therapy or duplication and zap. This is the same process as we're doing down here, okay? But maybe it's a quicker way of using as, let's say, the cocktail that we had beforehand with all four remedies instead of doing them one by one. It all depends on how much time you have and how you want to work. For homeopathic specialists, we can go into homeopathic constitutional and see the constitutional miasm and the constitutionals uh, that the client may need. Okay, here we can do therapies by clicking on each one of them and getting their rectification. And it gives us information on um, different uh, homeopaths that they, meet, they may need as a, a constitutional um, approach. Again, those are for uh, specialists. Okay, so that covers our basic knowledge of this homeopathic panel. Thank you, and we'll be in touch for further, more in-depth trainings. Thank you.